was fire makes me warm From a broken down shack that I call home Wake up in the morning, cold my fire Gotta make a living though Just to survive, I gotta work hard Just to stay alive In the darkest corners of my day My mind wanders to the places That I used to play My heart, there's a space for you Welcome in Get up, get up, get up, get up Just to survive I gotta work hard Just to stay alive I got to get up, 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 get up Just to survive I gotta work hard Just to stay alive Ain't it a shame and a sin and oh, the other one has to, has to burn and fall. I don't want the pretty low. I don't want nothing for free. Just some time the sun. Well, I got to get up, 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 get up. Just to survive, I gotta work hard Just to stay alive I got to get up, 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 get up Just to survive, I gotta work hard Just to stay Wow, that voice, Joe Clark, is a singer and songwriter famous for his voice that can get down to the soul. His sound consists of rhythm and blues. He has released four successful albums, one which was nominated for a South African Music Award. His latest offering, titled Afro Boer and the Golden Goose, took a course of two years to put together and was recorded at the historic Wellington Farmhouse in the Western Cape. He joins me now to share more on the album. Joe, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Is that out of good breath? Be, uh... Like you're really working <laughs> out, aren't you? It's been a long week and it's been an early, early morning. That's all <laughs> I can say. It's very early. Talk to me about, um, you know, kind of just the album, following the success of Follow the River, kind of where are you musically at the moment? Yeah, it's exciting. We, uh, we've been playing a lot of big festivals, playing Park Acoustics on Sunday with Corin Zoid. Mm. Got a whole uh, array of beautiful musicians going to join me on stage and then I'll pick copy and then I'm actually traveling up to Zambia. Wow. This year I've given up my house actually in January. I've been on the road for six months. I've put up a roof tent, rooftop tent on my bucky and I, I don't think I've spent more than two days in one place. We've been all over the city, Transkei, and Namibia. What do you mean you gave up your house? You, well, you no I longer live in four house. walls and a foundation. I live out, out in, the, in the wild. I play gigs and then I go to to places like Tugela Falls, Lesotho, I spent a lot of time now, two weeks, very cold, but it was fun. And, and like Namibia, you know, I'll do two shows and then I'll like, go and find out where's all the beautiful places. So trying to see the, the country, you know. Joe, what does that do to the psyche of a musician when you have that kind of freedom? I don't know, obviously all, all freedoms no. come with some responsibility, but when, you, when, you, when you're able to then kind of make music and then kind of have that freedom, where does that shift your mindset to? I think it gives you perspective on <clears throat> on your interaction when you are with people. Mm. It makes me respect people, I guess, more. And in the same way, question them. I, I don't know, it makes me... I, I guess it just puts me in, in a position where I can try and be a better person, more tolerating, yeah. or just understanding, you know, the uh, situation. You know, it's interesting Sometimes. that you mentioned that. And the reason I asked that question is because when we live in some kind of structure, 
uh, that house that comes with those mm. issues, with those bills. We're also tied down to society and all its ideas and everything. But when you have the freedom, an actual fact, a couple of years ago, I spent seven months on the road. Right. So I completely so you understand, kind of understand yeah. it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I guess it's not something that I can write a book about right now. I think I re I'll reflect a, about it, on it a little bit later, but it's so enormous, you know, feeling of being out. Like some nights I kind of shift out of the tent, just watch the stars till I fall asleep. Then my girlfriend will pull me back, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I do have a song about yeah. that. It's actually been re recently playlisted on 5FM and the song is I Don't Want to Go to Work No More. Oh. <laughs> so I've written a few lyrics on this subject. Let, let, let's talk about the, the catchiness of the album because it's called Afro and, and the, the Golden, Golden Goose. Goose. Where, did the, where did that title even come from? <laughs> it used to be Afro. <laughs> it got, <laughs> and now it's super curly. It's, it's kind of dropping slightly, but not really. So, no, it was, uh, it was um, actually just uh, based on a joke with me and my yeah. girlfriend. And um, it's, I, I thought it was kind of a catchy name. So, yeah. yeah, it is. It's Afro Boer and the Golden Goose. So, what is the inspiration? What are you singing about now? I mean, well, for instance, in, in the, uh, you know, the whole album is about uh, reflecting on the past, also human interaction, certain kind mm. of aspects, love, politics, religion. I guess I bring it all in. The song that I just did is called Fire, and the music video I'm yeah. releasing on it's very Tuesday. Catchy. And it's a bit about our situation in, in South Africa where people used to be oppressed and now there's other, you know, it's, there's a, a certain kind of oppression in another sense. And it's just about following your fire inside you, whether you're black, white, rich, poor, mm. whatever your situation is, there's something inside you that you need to bring out and it's your responsibility, not anybody else's. I'm going to give you 30 seconds because I want to talk about where you recorded the album. Okay. Because that in itself is a quite a unique place, the farmhouse. Beautiful old farmhouse. It's, it, you, I saw you said it's the farmhouse, but it, there's a lot of old farmhouses there. Yeah. It's an old farmhouse, um, I think it was built in the 1800s. The walls are a bit skewed, so the sound actually is great for acoustic. And we recorded live in that, in that with all the equipment, the oldest, oldest equipment that you can, uh, you, know, you can find. I used a uh, vintage guitar amps, the same amp, the piano player played through an amp that the doors used to play, so it's an old wooden box and the louder wow. you play, the speaker has, like, looks like a helicopter's thing, the yeah. louder you play, it goes boo, boo, boo. It's like that old, almost yeah. like southern gospel churches had those yeah. speakers, like beautiful sound. Because you've got that really um, um, grounded root feel to your music. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> so you've got a couple more performances. Uh, you're still in studio with us. It's Gerald Clark, is accomplished South African musician, and the Afro Boer with his golden goose is here in uh, our studio. I don't know if that makes sense, but get yourself a copy. Uh, get one for everybody. It's really an amazing album. Go and check it out. He's still with us for a couple of uh, hours, still, so don't fret. We take an epic. Don't go anywhere.